Plenty of time you're dealing with two cars sliding around, a guy hanging in between them, moving a bunch of fuel, it's a recipe for disaster. BMW presented us with a great opportunity and a heck of a challenge, and that was how can we set a world record for the longest distance drift in eight hours. When I saw that my old record got beaten, that was cool. I thought it was excellent because that just gave me an, another opportunity to go out and do it again. The rules for the record now would allow, during the eight hour period, to stop and refuel and do things like that. Obviously, we could put a big tank in, and that's what the previous records have done. That's kind of boring. Who wants to watch that, right? So you scratch your head a little bit and think, how can we do that? Well, you think about military aircraft. How do they refuel? It takes two planes, so we need two BMWs. So the solution we came up with is car-to-car -car refueling while we're still in the drift. The challenge was the whole dry brake connection to connect the cars in the drift. So we utilized components from commercial as well as aircraft industries. And we machined a lot of really custom fittings. Had to get the trunk area cleared out, got the back seat out to mount a custom fuel cell in the trunk area. Once we're plugged in, it's time to flip the switch to transfer the fuel into the fill neck, into the stock fuel tank so he can transfer fuel during the drift while he's driving. During the record attempt, we'll be standing by in the refueling car waiting for the signal. Once we get that signal, we'll drift up beside it, basically within about two feet of each other, and then we'll transfer about 15 to 18 gallons of fuel in 50 seconds, and then the cars can drift apart and the record car can continue on. Spare breakaway, ready to go. In case we need it, hopefully we don't. So we'll drift up to him. And then once I get there, we'll slow it down and then we'll come out and disconnect it. I'm pretty far back. I'm trying to catch up to you. I'm going to catch up to you here. You just keep doing your thing. All right, yeah. Got a little comfort in here. All right, yep. Let's, uh, I gotta get let's out. back out. I gotta, I gotta I'm going to leave the pad. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Refueling a car a few inches from another car in a drift, in the wet, uh, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. The first worry is fire, obviously. You're moving a lot of fuel. You're moving 15 to 18 gallons in a minute or less. If, if we get a leak or something happens, you know, drivers slip up, something goes wrong, the cars break apart. Johan could spin out. I could spin out. For Matt, the refueling guy, you know, he's going to be out there in the crush zone. And, you know, if those guys slip up and he's in the wrong spot, he's getting sandwiched. There's a little bit of risk there, but uh, that's what makes it exciting. We're excited to get this uh, going and see how it works and then go set the record. We have commenced drifting. We're just getting through these first times, burning down fuel getting to the point where he can transfer the fuel out of the reserve tank he's got. And after about three and a half hours, it'll be time for me to go join him to fuel him up again. Very low. Okay. 30 minutes away from the refuel. Matt Martin, you know, just you sense anything, you feel like the angles are starting to just unplug it. This doesn't change every time we go out. Because you don't want anybody to get pinched between the two cars, and you don't want to lose the grip on the refuel apparatus, because that happened in the practice, and they couldn't get back together. And then you have to stop. Right in there, right in there. Oop, oop, oop. Bail out. Uh. They don't know exactly how much they're going to get each time. You know, one time we got almost 12 gallons. The second time we got just under 8 gallons. I haven't seen how much we got on this last transfer. 
we did manage to bump them just a little bit. A little nervous on that, but it, it worked out, so we can do it again. That's what I'm talking about. exactly how I'm going to react to uh, being in a car for eight hours trying to maintain a drift, but I certainly like the personal challenge of it. There's no rules that say they can't stop. They're choosing not to for the full eight hours. I can tell you that Johan has already broken the existing record. He's looking to shatter it though. So he says he's feeling good. His neck is starting to get a little sore and his feet are starting to fall asleep, but all in all, he's doing very well. Wow, let's go Johan, let's go.